Hello and welcome to this Chef tutorial in Pro Engineer. Now we'll start a new file, click uncheck the use default template and click OK. Select the empty template and OK. You click on tools, options, uncheck the show only options loaded from file. Now I have mine, they ordered an alphabetical order where I find that easier to go with alphabetical and if you scroll down you're looking for allow anatomic features and change the value to yes click on air change and apply then close now when you go back to the insert menu under advanced You'll see the shaft command. Shaft. Now, lip, flange, neck, ear, and slot are subcommands of the shaft feature. If you look back, we don't have any datum plates since we since we selected an empty template. But to get datum planes, click on create a datum plane. The three primary datum planes will be created and they will be named datum plane 1, datum plane 2, datum plane 3 and if you notice this this would be the top right and front now we're going to leave them just that way we'll click on the extrude tool placement define now since datum plane 3 was, so was selected the sketcher automatically picks it. I'm going to remove it. And select datum plane 2 for my sketch and plane. And sketch to modify to 6 units. Accept. Now change the depth to 0.75 is essential. You can have a shaft without having a base. Now if you go back to the insert menu and you click on advanced you'll notice that all the shaft commands are not them anymore because you could use them. We'll click on shaft and the way it's defined it will prompt you for every one of these placement type section placement references and direction. Now for the for this tutorial, the placement type is linear, so select linear, then done. Next, the sketcher will open, and we're supposed to define that's the cross section of the shaft. So as usual with any revolved feature, we'll start with a center line. And remember that it should be a vertical center line, close the sketch. So make sure the line on the center line is placed. We'll draw the profile with very little attention to accuracy at this point. And I'm going to remove this port, the line, so click on trim and remove. Now we will be modifying the dimensions. Click on the dimension tool and for this dimension, this one, and this one will be placed in diameter dimensions. So click on the line, center line, line again, and middle mouse button to place the dimension. We'll repeat it for this line as well. Line, center line, line, and middle mouse button. Repeat it one more time for this line. Line, center line, line, and middle mouse button. We'll click on accept. You notice section is defined. It's the first thing in placement you need to know 
as the surface of placement. So I'm going to click on the surface. And next, since we selected linear, just like in the whole features, instead of having the drag handle, we will need to manually select the edges. So I will be selecting these two edges, this edge here and this edge here. To select this edge, for the distance from that edge, you prompt it to enter the value, enter 2.95. And for the next edge, enter 2.75. Also click Enter. Now if you look back here, placement references are defined and direction is defined. Now direction is often defined because that top part of your uh, shaft cross-section sketch lies on the surface you selected earlier. But for any reason, you need that to be flipped. All you need to do is click on direction and define and it would let you flip it. Next we will be placing a vertical cut into the shaft. So click on extrude placement define. Now notice that the cut we will be placing doesn't exactly flow on any of the existing datum plane. We'll have to create an on-the-fly datum plane. Click on datum plane, and on-the-fly means that it is created within the creation of another feature, and it would let you do so without actually leaving the feature creation process that's on hand. So change your filter to access, select the axis of the shaft and next you need to select the surface for an angular reference so change your filter to surface hold the control key the offset angle is 45 degrees so if that's what you get automatically just accept it now if you look back at your model tree the datum plane 4 is created automatically and it's automatically selected as a sketch and plane. I'll change the reference to the top surface here. And change the orientation to top. And click sketch. Before I select the references, I always like to change the display to line so I could see which edge I'm selecting. Now the first thing I like you to have referenced is the axis itself, so change change the filter to axis and select this axis for reference, as you can see it here. Next, change your filter to edge and select this edge and this edge as well. And Click on the rectangle tool, modify the dimensions, accept the sketch, change the depth option to symmetric, enter the value of 0.25 for depth, also change the cut, so click on the remove material option and build. So select cut on the model tree and you can see it on the display change into red. And while it's select, I'm going to select pattern, change the option, the pattern option to access, and the filter automatically changes the access. And select this axis. You need four instances at 90 degree increments. And if you look by a dot on your model, that's exactly what you need here, except if you don't. If you kept on saving your port, you will have multiple versions of this file. So the way to purge is to get the file, delete, and all versions. And I'm just going to accept. And this should conclude our tutorial for the day. Good luck.